all right all right guys welcome to another video as you can see i'm not in indonesia anymore i'm not in asia anymore i'm back in europe after two years of traveling in asia i decided to go for a europe road trip with this motorhome that you can see behind me so um, we will start off the european series with a q a so i had people asking me questions on instagram on youtube as well and um, yeah, I will answer your questions throughout the video. I will go for a little walk, answer questions, show some beautiful places as well. And um, yeah, there are some uh, very juicy questions as well because I did an anonymous Q&A as well, but that's for the end. So Film Freaky asked me on Instagram, why did you choose to travel? What's the motivation? And when did you feel it to start traveling? So threefold question with a long answer because um, I must say when I was a kid uh, I didn't travel much you know uh, my parents were not really travelers I come from a large family also with um, seven siblings so yeah traveling with seven kids you can imagine it's not easy so my parents chose to mostly travel within the country either to the north which is the seaside of Belgium or to the south which is the Ardennes of Belgium which be has beautiful nature and rivers and lakes and that's where I am right now actually it's my favorite part of Belgium I would say still up to today so yeah when I was a kid I didn't travel much um, I think it was until 19 years old that I went the first time on a trip abroad and that was to Slovenia uh, my sister and her boyfriend at that time uh, my self and a friend and my girlfriend at the time we went on a trip um, and we were supposed to go to Croatia but uh, at the border of uh, Slovenia to Croatia we kind of got held up there <laughs> kind of my fault um, but that's a whole other story uh, all I can say is like corrupt customs officers at the Croatian border were trying to screw us over so we just said like no we're not going to Croatia we went back to Slovenia instead and uh, we had a great trip there, uh, unplanned, completely random because we were supposed to go to Croatia. So we didn't have any plans for Slovenia. But honestly, it was a great trip. It was really great. Slovenia is such a beautiful country. I think I've been there like five times in the meanwhile. Uh, but yeah, so I wouldn't say I got bitten by the travel bug there, but it started already a little bit. So after that, you know, I went on a vacation probably yearly, maybe once or twice a year. I went on a vacation uh, nothing special, no YouTube videos yet, but I think maybe when I was like 25, 26 or something, I started watching like vlogs like Casey Neistat, also travel vlogs like Los LeBlanc, um, you know, yeah, yeah, I was just watching a lot of travel content and that kind of triggered me like, oh, I want to travel more, I want to travel more and also I want to make my own videos. So I, I bought my first GoPro. I think it was a GoPro Hero 5 probably at that time. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I made my first YouTube video uh, and I started traveling more often. But of, obviously I traveled maybe like three, four, maybe five times a year for a few days up to a week, two weeks. So I didn't post that much on YouTube, but uh, I realized like, oh, um, I really want to travel like long term and also tried to do YouTube at the same time. So I started saving up money. And uh, when I was, uh, yeah, like two years ago, when I was 34, I um, decided to, yeah, quit my job. I sold my house, I sold my car, sold all my belongings, gave a lot away as well. And uh, I decided like to jump into it and start traveling full time. And uh, yeah, that's about two years and two months ago now. It's been a while, time really flew by, like really. I When I look back now, it's like two years was just nothing. I did so many things and my life was, yeah, very uh, adventurous, I guess, challenging as well at times. Um, but there was no dull moments, you know? And that's what I love, honestly, because before my life was pretty basic. I would go, you know, daily to work uh, in the weekend, maybe hang out with some friends, you know, look forward to a trip once or twice or maybe a few times a year. Um, but now I realize, like, I really hate routine. Um, maybe when I'm older, I will start to appreciate a bit more routine again. But I realize now the past month I spent with my mom at her home and I realize, like, damn, the routine life is really not for me because I get bored and... 
yeah, it was really not for me. So I, I'm, I like switching places. I like uh, seeing new environments. I like exploring. Uh, I like meeting new people. I like trying new food, all that stuff. And if you stay in one place, you're doing pretty much the same every day of your life until you die. And that's not even an exaggeration. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I decided, like, I need to do it right now because once I get too old, I will, you know, think like, oh, why did I uh, not do it? Why did I not start traveling? Because I don't want to be on my deathbed with regrets, you know, and the way I live right now, I will not have any regrets that I can tell you. So I would suggest you to do the same. Like if you have the the possibility and the means to, to travel a bit more, I would really encourage you to do it because, um, yeah, it will open your eyes. Like you see everything in a different perspective now. Uh, two years later, like I'm a different person, I would say for real. Like I'm still the humble Tim, you know, but uh, yeah, it's just different. It's different now. So I guess like, covered pretty much everything of that question which I answered way too long but uh, let's move on to the next question so for the next question steezy steve 9600 asked me why are you so bold hmm well because I shave my head every day So for the next question, and that is from Fakri4k6arm on Instagram and some other people on YouTube everywhere asked me, what is your next destination? Well, I'm at my next destination, which is Belgium. And uh, the plan is to drive around Europe with the motorhome uh, for about three to four months. I will be making content in Europe. And I'm actually very excited about it because uh, I've spent almost two years in Asia and um, it was time for some more relaxed vibes, I would say. And in Asia, it's pretty hectic. So I'm happy to be back in Europe. I will spend the European summer here making content, Eastern Europe, Central Europe, uh, the Balkan, and possibly also South U Southern Europe. So very excited for that. Stay tuned for those videos. So let me see, let me see. So about seven months ago, actually on YouTube, I also posted that I would do a Q&A video, but um, I kind of, well, I didn't forget, but it didn't happen. So I still have the questions and I'll, I'll go through some questions. Um, for example, here, Samrat Singrashput07 asked me, what do you like in India that is not there in your own country? Country your own country. Hmm. I can't speak anymore. It's because I'm speechless of this beauty. Hmm. No, um, what do I like in India that is not in my own country? I would say um, there's many things that I like in India that is not in my own country. And uh, the main uh, thing that um, it's not only for India, but for a lot of Asian countries, and I guess a lot of countries in general, is the food. Uh, in Belgium, I don't really like the food, honestly. <laughs> It sounds maybe weird to say that as a Belgian, but I'm not really a fan of Belgian food. I've never really, really been a fan of Belgian food. Uh, there are some plates that I really like, um, like mashed potatoes, beans in the tomato sauce, and then some kind of minced meat burger patty or something. That's definitely my favorite. <laughs> it's like we call it in Belgium farmer's meal. Um, so that's definitely uh, something I like in Belgium, but in general, the food in Belgium is very bland, no spices, um, yeah, just monotonous, nothing great about it. <laughs> I 
sorry Belgians that love Belgian food, but I really don't. Uh, I can eat it, it's not like I can't eat it, but uh, for example now, I've been here for a month, over a month actually in Belgium, and uh, one thing that I miss the most in Asia is um, the food. And yeah, something else that has been asked on my YouTube channel, uh, by Live Gaming want to see you travel to unpopular country like Moldova, Andorra, San Marino, Vatican City, Cyprus, Chinese Taipei, Tuvalu, Marshall Islands, Finland, Burkina Faso, Ivory Coast, will be worth adventure. And I agree. Um, I would love to travel to all those countries. I've been to some of those countries already and I would love to go to all of them eventually uh, because I like to travel to countries that are a bit less uh, popular. So yeah, just stay tuned on my channel and you will see where I'm going in the next months, years, decennia, centuries. Okay, another one from my YouTube channel, also seven months ago, but uh, it's asked by Jill Leong 9386 um, which is a very, very great fan, subscriber, because she comments... Is it a she? I think it's a she. Sorry if you're a he, but um, it's... Uh, a true fan. I see the comments all the time. Hi Tim, your vlogs are truly educational and inspiring from all your journeys of travels in different countries. Would you consider doing a mountainous trek at Mount Kinabalu in East Malaysia someday? This is only a small feat to you compared to all your previous grueling long treks. Your thoughts please. Warmest blessing to you. Uh, yes, definitely. So um, maybe even this year I will come back to Malaysia and um, make my way to East Malaysia, to um, Sabah, and uh, maybe I'll do Mount Kinabalu. I would love to, but uh, I hear it's pretty, pretty damn hard. So uh, if you have any previous experience, let me know in the comments. Malau Jawal, I guess it's called. Can we meet when you're back in Belgium? One plate Momo is on me. Um, well, I'm actually leaving Belgium. I know I've been here for a while, uh, but I didn't really well, film much and everything and I was just catching up with friends and family but uh, yeah, I wish I could have that plate of momos honestly because uh, wow, it's been ages that I had momos over a year, definitely I could do some momos oh, Joel Momo definitely Joel Momo Ooh. oh, I'm actually hungry right now <laughs> So while making my way back up, uh, I'm going to answer some other questions. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, this one here, Roy Frank. I guess he's from Belgium or from the Netherlands because it's a question in Dutch. Uh, heb je landen uit het midden oosten op je bucket list staan? Zo ja, welke? So he's saying, do you have any countries from the Middle East on your bucket list? Which ones? Um, hmm. Middle East, well, I've been to Turkey. I think Turkey is considered Middle East, but uh, maybe Egypt. I think Egypt is also Middle East, well, considered Middle East. So I think that would be uh, for sure. Like Egypt, I would really like to visit. I really want to see the pyramids, even though I know it's a scammer paradise there. Uh, but I'm not going there for the scammers because I know some people in the comments think that I get scammed on purpose, <laughs> which is not the case, <laughs> really not the case. But um, yeah, Egypt, the pyramids, that's kind of a uh, yeah, childhood's dream, you know? I mean, who doesn't want to see the pyramids? It's like such an amazing uh, yeah, building or monument or yeah. So I definitely want to visit Egypt and probably some other countries in the Middle East as well, but I currently don't have plans yet. Oh, a little bit out of breath. I came from all the way down there and uh, where the river was. <sighs> and damn, um, so many mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, it's evening, you know, like in the summertime when the evening starts coming in Belgium, uh, the mosquitoes get super active. And I didn't bring repellent. Stupid me. Okay, let's get uh, up there and answer some more questions. 
Okay, it's time for some juicy questions. Well, some of them are, uh, because I also did an anonymous Q&A on my Instagram and I uh, have some weird questions. <laughs> really weird. Uh, some, well, the first one is kind of okay. Do you hate anyone? Um, I'm a very loving person in general, but um, hate anyone? Um, scammers? I hate them with a passion. Uh, what else? We should do more fun things together. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what you're implying, but yeah, let's hang out and go on an adventure, hiking or whatever. I don't know. That's all fun. Uh, I want to see you soon. Haven't seen you in so long. Well, I have no clue who wrote this. So yeah, just reach out to me and we can hang out for sure. What's your favorite Indonesia food? Ooh, uh, not a juicy question, but um, I would say favorite Indonesia food. <sighs> I, I really like nasi kampur because it has a little bit of everything. So I would say nasi kampur is something I can eat frequently, uh, but there's so many other. Yeah, of course, satay ayam, chicken satay is a classic. Um, beef rendang so good oh there's so much food there's so much food okay a question that has been asked so many times do you have a girlfriend hmm do i have a girlfriend i'll let you know later okay some weird questions like do you know hawk tua um i do it's she's all over the internet um if you don't know hawk tua google it and um Thank me later. Another really great question. How did you come up with legend? Well, the thing is, uh, that came very natural. I remember it was in Nepal. I was in Cheat One and uh, I recorded a really long video that day. Like I was filming the whole day and I realized in the end of the day, like when I was ending the video, the vlog, I was like, wow, this will be such a long video. So I said like, if you're still watching, you're a legend which means like if you endured my ramblings for one hour and a half or something then you're really a legend which is true until today like if you watch my videos till the end you are a true legend so watch them till the end thank you have you ever been to lake toba um not yet so for people that don't know uh, lake toba is in indonesia it's a beautiful lake. I have seen it on videos and on pictures. It looks beautiful, but I haven't been yet. And uh, probably in the future, I will go. <laughs> what kind of question it is? If I paid you a million euro to paint a whole cargo ship, but you have to use nail polish, will you accept? A million euro for a cargo ship. Hmm, I have to do some calculations. A million euro. I feel like... I could earn that million euro in different ways faster, so probably not. <laughs> uh, another question, who's your favorite rapper? Uh, yeah, I like rap music. I, I listen to all kinds of music, but I listen a lot to rap music, I would say. Uh, my favorite rapper, hmm. Favorite rapper, I would say most likely, hmm. Maybe Kanye West, probably Kanye West. <laughs> then someone else, can we be friends? Well, it's anonymous, so I don't know who you are, but yes, we can be friends. Okay, so I made it back and uh, I owe you still one answer and that is to the question, do I have a girlfriend? Well, the thing is, I don't really know, so I'll call someone, an expert on the matter, and see if she knows. Hi, are you an expert on the question, do I have a girlfriend or not? We broke up six, six months ago. Did we? <laughs> say that again? Yeah, he has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so yeah, I wasn't sure, but see, I, I do have a girlfriend apparently. So any, uh, any anything else you want to say? How amazing I am? Well, yeah, he's 
the most amazing boyfriend and stay tuned for more of his videos. <laughs> That's all you have? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, all right. We're doing a few more questions because uh, I checked my Instagram and I have a few really good questions from my friend Laura Calatoreste. If I'm pronouncing that right, if not, apologies. <laughs> but uh, she asked me a few questions and uh, one of it is, are you planning to stay in a place for longer or move somewhere or indefinitely on the road? So, um, yeah, after traveling for two years full time, living out of a suitcase or a backpack, I must say it kind of, um, yeah, I'm kind of ready to have a little bit of a home base um, and do like trips out of that home base. So at some point, uh, probably in the near future maybe, I would like to own some property again. Like I used to own a house, but I sold it. It was never really my dream house, so I don't regret selling it or anything, but um, my dream house would be a cabin in the woods, um, a tiny house, uh, stuff like that, you know. I don't need stuff in the city or anything. Like, I like spending time in the city, but um, I just want to be away from everything, like where I am right now. Like, look at the view here. This is a beautiful view. Like, imagine that I have a cabin somewhere here with that kind of view, man. That would, uh, that would be the dream, honestly, but yeah, so that's why basically I bought a motorhome uh, so I can have a little bit of a home, which is really not a home also, you know, like it's a home on wheels so you can still be uh, mobile and still also have a little bit of a home uh, feeling, let's say, you know, like whenever I enter my motorhome, I know uh, you know, like which soap I'm going to use. Uh, I, I can cook whatever food I have. Uh, you know, like if you're living on the road in a hotel, you always have to adjust to your new environment. You know, like which food is the hotel going to serve? Um, am I going to sleep well? You know, like is this pillow going to be good? You know, like <laughs> all that stuff. Oh, there's mosquitoes out. Uh, so yeah, I kind of happy. I'm kind of happy to have the motor home now uh, because yeah, it's like a a tiny home on wheels which is actually not tiny for me because if you live out of a suitcase for two years uh, having a motorhome all of a sudden is really a big expansion like I have a lot of space like my drawers and my closets are not even full well I bought a lot of stuff recently but <laughs> uh, still like I, it's like a major uh, expansion for me I never had that much stuff in the past two years so it feels kind of good um, so yeah that was basically my answer uh, eventually I'll find some place, maybe, well, most likely in Europe, I would say, um, somewhere, yeah, remote, you know, like in the woods or in the mountains, that would be my, yeah, my perfect, um, my perfect place to live. Okay, next question. Are there any trips planned for the rest of the year? Uh, no, actually, there's no trips planned whatsoever. Uh, except um, Europe right now, so I'm going to, well, I'll tell you the countries that I'm going to f most likely, which is Germany, Poland, Romania, uh, Albania, probably Italy, Switzerland maybe, France maybe, yeah, there's a lot of maybes because I really don't know, and uh, of course I'm also going back to the Philippines, because maybe I have a girlfriend there. <laughs> Okay, what else did she ask? Top three dream destinations. Oh, that's such a tough question. Dream destinations. I feel like I need to visit Africa at some point uh, and also go back to South America because I've been in I've been in Asia for the last two years and I need something new at some point, you know. But uh, I will I will go to Africa and, and South America again at some point. Uh, just don't know where yet, and I don't know which country specifically and all that. Okay, so next question, also from Laura, by the way. All these questions are from Laura. Follow her on Instagram. Laura Calatoreste. Another question of Laura. The hardest things while traveling full-time. Yeah, so while traveling full-time... Oh, there's mosquitoes attacking my camera. Yeah, the, tra the hardest things while traveling full-time. Hmm. I would say, like I said already, that I'm not really a guy that likes routines, but if you move like every few days places, it's 
kind of hard, you know, like to figure out um, where do I do my groceries, where do I get a good coffee, um, which bus or which taxi or whatever should I take to this place, uh, are they going to rip me off, you know, like, because if you're in a new place, you don't know anything, it's kind of hard, but it keeps it interesting at the same time, but, you know, sometimes you have these days that you say, like, today I don't want to deal with all that. Uh, luckily you have Grab, so if you're in a city that has yeah, food delivery and stuff, it's really handy because, for example, with Grab you can really do anything, like you can call the taxi, you can have food and you don't need to start searching in the streets, like where am I going to eat or on Google or... So yeah, that's probably pretty hard while traveling and also, yeah, relationships, I would say, that's a tough one. Because, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not going to say I'm the most sociable person, which I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm kind of an introvert or maybe an ambivert, you know. Um, but, yeah, if you meet people, you mostly meet them only once or twice and then you move to the next place. Uh, like with my girlfriend, it's okay because I'm going back to the Philippines pretty much every month, every two months. But, uh, yeah, it's just hard, you know, like friendships and stuff. It's hard to maintain them. Uh, so if you're traveling full time, it's mostly like virtual stuff, you know, like you virtually talk to your friends and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's hard. But I'm not complaining, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> They're making it sound very dramatic, but it's not that hard. It's just uh, a different lifestyle, I guess. You have to adjust to it. But I'm like a person that is not super sociable. So for me, it's not super hard, I would say. But at some point, Times I'm a little bit like, oh, I wish I could be here with a friend or with a girlfriend or, you know, like that would be nice. So, yeah, there are moments that you get a bit lonely, but uh, yeah, then you just go to a market in Jakarta or whatever and talk to a million people and then my social battery is dead again and then I'm good for a month <laughs> without any social contact. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm exaggerating, but yeah. So I guess that's pretty much it, yeah. All right, this is the end of the first video of the European series. And um, I'm taking a little bit of a risk here uh, to make videos in Europe because I know my audience is mostly from Asia. So you guys might not be too interested in Europe, but um, it's also for myself that I'm here. I wanted to experience the European summer again. It's been like three years that I had a European summer and uh, it's really lovely, you know, you can find places like this. Uh, this is still Belgium even, but I'm going to explore more of Europe, but this place is so quiet. You can only hear like bird sounds, a little bit of mosquito sounds, which I don't like, but that's all good. We can live with that. But um, yeah, in general, uh, yeah, I just wanted to have some peace here in Europe. So I'm going to explore some beautiful nature, um, maybe some little villages, you know, historical villages and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I'm really excited about. So I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, also, thank you for sending in the questions. I couldn't answer all of them, sadly enough, because uh, there were just too many. But um, thank you anyway. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. And you already know, if you're still watching, you're a legend. Legend.